Hello everyone, welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. Hope you are well. Today I discuss a very important topic, mainly how we can easily use the transformer based weight yield prediction model using PyTorch. So I will try to explain all of details step by step. I will try to explain. Then I hope you can easily get the idea and further you can easily work with that. So in this case, we are just use different types of uh, parameter as a feature. So in this case, I try to use for NDVI mainly for signal to Landsat 8 and Modis. So then also use the charts mainly precipitation data. Then we also use for the temperature data and also use the uh, soil moisture data. Okay. And then we also have this type of yield data. Yield data basically this type of yield. So now I have this type of data. So this data, we need to also create it. Okay, so how I can create it. So uh, for this, we can easily use this type of training sample if you check. So we have just used the Google Earth engine. So basically in this time, it's one kind of probe yield prediction. But in this case, we are just using the machine learning. But if you want, you can also get the more advanced result when you are using the deep learning. So this type of same data we also use in here. So this is my study area. So for this study area, I have this type of training point, basically this type of point, I have the uh, yield data, okay, so this type of place. So now I want to use this type of yield data and then I just create the transformer based with yield prediction model using PyTorch, mainly deep learning which I would apply in here. So this type of point I already have and I already have this type of value for yield value, okay. So now for this point, I just need to extract this type of information. So I need to extract the information for NDVI value, then charts mainly precipitation value, then temperature value and also soil moisture value. So for that we are just using the Google Earth engine. So in the Google Earth engine, we try to combine all of those NDVI from Sentinel-2 satellite imagery, NDVI from Landsat, NDVI modis, then precipitation, then temperature and soil moisture. Then we download the data as a CSV file format. Okay, this data is simply downloaded as a CSV file format. Okay, so then we are just use this CSV file in here. So this is my CSV file. This CSV file I simply import in the Google Colab, and then I find out this type of result. So in this time we find out this type of value for each crop yield point. We find out this type of result. And before that, I also imported some necessary library, such as pandas, then pros, then this type of uh, Escalant model. So all of necessary library simply imported. And this is my uh, sample, okay, sample data for the crop yield. So for this training sample, I already struck this type of information, Landsat NDVI, Modis NDVI, precipitation, then NDVI from Sentinel-2, then soil moisture. And I have also ground truth data for crop yield data, okay, we find out. So this is my data set. So then we try to apply the drop geometry column if exist. So then we try to simply ignore and then feature. So in this time, this type, this column, I just make a list of features and this is my target. Okay. So we are simply create the two list. One is for features in the feature. We try to add all of uh, features. So if you want, you can also add the more features to get the more better result and then our target value basically yield because we want to predict for yield then remove all of null values so just simply tf and then simply just uh, take the float 32 and reshape it one array so then normalize the feature just we are using the standard scalar and normalize and fit with the transform using the scalar value and reshape for the transform sample we try to reshape it and then spill the data uh, x train x test and y train and y test just simply spilled and we are just using the 80% data for train our model and 20% data just check for our accuracy. Then convert to cross tensor. So for that, just simply call this cross. I already imported this library and then use the tensor function. Then X train, X test, Y train and Y test. Just we simply convert to cross tensors. And then we create the transformer based regression model. So this is the model for the transformer based regression model. So in this model, we just create it and then this model is simply connect with our training data set, 80% training data set. And in this case, we create the model and use the Adam optimizer. Okay. And also call the pros and what Adam optimizer. We try to apply in here. 
and then we are just create the uh, loop for 100 time we create this type of uh, e uh, epoch we create 10 20 30 40 50 60 80 90 and 100 we create and also estimate the loss okay and then evaluate this model okay so then we try to check the root mean square error and also create the r squared score we find out from here and finally we create the plot for that actual yield value and predicted yield value so we find out this type of value you can see this is the actual yield value it's collecting from our um, ground data and was predicted in value so it's come from the prediction result okay and we find out this type of graph or line we find out in here so this is the transformer weight yield prediction graph we also find out so now we try to visualize our imagery okay so for that we need to import the raster yo then pros then cross sklearn and matplotlib this type of necessary library simply import it or install it then import it this type of library and now we load the uh, imagery basically it's a combined imagery okay this combined imagery basically it's come from our google earth engine so this combined imagery uh, we you can see this is the combined so it, it including all of uh, those all of uh, imagery such as ndvi modis ndvi serenal to ndvi precipitation temperature soil moisture so this combined imagery we simply export as a geo file format and then import it in the google collab okay then we simply reshape it and also transpose basically height width and band and replace the fill values with infillate with non up non values and fill it and then drop about the reshape it okay and finally standard using the scalar as a training so just we simply scalar standard scalar and reshape for the transformer just use the code for reshape for transformer and finally we import the tross for the yield transformer model we created and this model is saved okay and i put the name this is the this model i simply save using this name and further we simply define the model architecture exactly the same as before so just we simply put here the five because in this case i just use here the five features so that's why i simply put here the five and then we find out this type of model and then this model we just use the um, best size put in define the hundred okay so sometime if it the crushing then we try to increasing or decreasing this value otherwise it also okay there is no problem and further we just evaluate the show the uh, reconstruct the full imagery for our output imagery so we put this type of output about the imagery and finally we uh, download this imagery if you want uh, download the geotip file format as well as if you want you can also display this type of map using the rasterio package so we find out this type of map so this is the crop yield prediction map we find out in here so tons per hectare unit so you can easily identify you can also use the different types of color or if you want you can also download is a got file format and further you can also use it in dark map or qj software for making the map so this is the way for the uh, transformer based weight yield prediction we can easily use if you want you can also add the more further uh, features then it will be look more better okay so if you have any question or any doubt you can simply contact i also give the answer about that so today is no more. Thank you for asking that. Stay happy. Stay safe.